Does fast charging kill your phone's battery life faster? Are you curious about the answer and want to understand more about fast charging technology? Grab your favorite drink, a tasty snack and join us on our fast charging adventure. Stay till the end to watch final conclusion. First of all let me explain you what is fast charging. Fast charging is exactly how it sounds. It's a charging technique that allows your phone to rapidly gain battery power. It cuts the charging time down significantly compared to standard methods. To take advantage of it, you'll need a fast charger, that you plug into a power outlet, and a compatible phone. Fast charging first debuted on high-end flagship phones, but in 2023 it's not uncommon to see it now on mid-range and a handful of budget phones. A mobile phone charger with an output of 5 to 10 watts is considered a regular or standard charger. A charger with an output of 15 watts or more is regarded as a fast charger. At the higher end, Fast charging can have an output of 45 watts. We know that some other charging practices can shorten the lives of our batteries. What about fast charging? Does fast charging damage my battery? You'd think with all that extra power there could be a risk to your battery. From our findings though, fast charging doesn't cause any more damage to your phone than standard charging. It will get hotter, but not at extreme enough levels that would cause noticeable harm. The main way you'll damage your phone though is with bad charging technique. Let me explain how charging works and where you could be going wrong. How fast charging works. Fast charging takes place in two phases. The first is designed to give your phone a blast of charge when it is nearly empty, getting you back to half or three quarter capacity, sometimes in as little as 30 minutes. Charging then slows down. This is because an empty battery can absorb charge quickly, but an almost full battery cannot. This phenomenon explains why it takes a phone charger, sometimes up to an hour or more, to give you that last 10%. Does fast charging affect battery life on the iPhone? Apple has been offering fast charging capable phones since the iPhone 8 came out. The USB power delivery method used by Apple purportedly offers 50% power increases in as little as 30 minutes in certain situations. For newer iPhone models, at least an 18 watts adapter is necessary, like the one that comes with the iPhone 11 Pro or the Pro Max, to see the effects of fast charging. Does fast charging affect battery life on a Samsung device? If you're a long-term Samsung user, you're probably familiar with the exploding battery stories surrounding the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Dozens of Note 7 batteries went off, and the ongoing issues at the time caused Samsung to issue its largest recall ever, with over 2.5 million phones returned in 2016. But just because a battery could explode doesn't mean it will, or that fast charging has anything to do with it. Yet it's enough to make some people wary. The first thing to understand is that the tragic tale of the Galaxy Note 7 was pretty much an isolated incident and had to do with a faulty battery design. Does fast charging affect battery life on and smartphones? The majority of Android and iOS smartphones use lithium-ion batteries, as do most smartphones, tablets, and other mobile or portable devices. However, some phones today use lithium polymer batteries due to their robust form factor, superior durability, and safety. Manufacturing costs favor the use of Li-ion batteries, as does the extended battery life and energy capacity. But why is it important to know about these two types of batteries? When it comes to fast charging technology, Li-poly batteries are considered generally safer and better protected against purported risks of blasting batteries with extra voltage during the first fast charging stage. In addition, Li-poly batteries have better energy management. Despite not holding as much power as their Li-ion counterparts, Li-poly batteries don't drain as quickly and may require less fast charging. But whether you have a Li-ion or Li-poly battery in your Android device, fast charging won't affect its service life. It won't happen even if you were to use a fast charging adapter on a battery that isn't designed for fast charging. That's because the battery won't have the technology to accept the extra voltage. Instead, it will only accept as much power as it was designed to absorb at a set rate. Dot this is one of the most common reasons why some phones charge slowly, despite build as capable of handling fast charging. Tips to slow down the aging of cell phone battery. 1. Avoid extreme temperatures. Temperature changes can be very unpredictable. Exposing an iPhone to extreme temperatures will certainly affect the life of the battery. The best way to avoid it is to keep your phone out of the kitchen while you are cooking. Avoid carrying when you're outside in hot weather. Keep it in the shade whilst driving and don't leave in your car when the weather is hot. 2. Avoid letting the battery fall to 0%. I let my smartphone drain to 0%, then charge it back to 100%. If you are doing this, please stop, because the battery technology in today's smartphones now works very differently. The battery in your iPhone is at its most effective when kept between 20% and 90%. Keeping it within this range as much as possible will help to preserve the battery life. 3. The use of certified iPhone chargers is your best bet. Finally, 
the charger you use can have a significant impact on the performance of your iPhone's battery. A defective charger or a cheap quality charger can shorten the life of your battery, affect the performance of your phone and charge your phone inefficiently. Conclusion, fast charging is not inherently bad for your phone. The risk comes from the heat that a fast charge generates. Heat, whether it comes from leaving the phone in a hot car or overcharging it, can hinder your battery's performance. In extreme circumstances, the battery can even swell or explode. Fast charging doesn't generate this much heat, but it does generate enough heat to potentially impact your phone battery. Fast charging will generate more heat, but it has many advantages to outweigh this disadvantage. It is less damaging than actively using your phone while it charges. If slow charging means you will need to use it while charging, then you may be better off with fast charging. Okay, so the overall view is that, yes, fast charging can shorten the life of your phone battery due to more heat generated, although you can also preserve the life of your phone battery when using fast wireless charging as long as you follow the tips above. All things considered, fast charging is more beneficial and that outweighs the potential risks involved. If you look after your phone, keep the battery in between the optimum levels and use a certified charger, it will continue to have a long and healthy life. This was all for day, stay connected. Hit the like button and subscribe channel. Have a great day.